It's not every day that you come across primary school students with an IQ that makes you question yours. Meet Ishimne Karimba and brothers Peter and Patrick Egeo4. Ishimne is convinced an organic homemade insecticide, the right for Pyrotrum, is one of the solutions to keep our environment cleaner, and the Egeo4 brothers have come up with a project on gorilla conservation that will make even our very own RDB experts envious. Hard to believe that they are 6 and 8. How they are being treated, how people hunt them down for rituals and meat, that they should stop doing this because so they cannot be extinct from this world. Let's start with our ideas. Then I just I was passing around ideas like conservation of gorillas. Then me and my brother we decided to do it. The world needs an organic insecticide because synthetic insecticides are harming our environment and also harming us, giving us problems in breathing and many other diseases. Recently, at the yearly International Golden Climate Olympiad held in Mombasa and involving 160 projects from about 25 countries, Ishimne came out on top, his insecticide project winning the gold medal, and both Peter and Patrick won bronze with their Gorilla Conservation One. Winning the medals has taught, um, has taught us that this is very important, that people should know more about this to help stop it from from being overboard, from going overboard. This is not the first time students from Kigali's Hope Academy make Rwanda proud, as other students from the school won a bronze medal in the same contest last year. This year, the students are also listed among the finalists for Genius USA, another global contest, and will next month travel to Bucharest, Romania to participate in the Infometrics competition. The future could not be brighter for them. VGC Sheja, Rise and Shine Randa. Yesterday we had the three geniuses in studio here and, you know, I started by asking them about those projects, those award-winning projects. How are you guys doing? Good, thank you. Do you guys know that we're really, truly proud of you guys, of what you've accomplished? Yeah. yeah. Alright, how did it feel, but before we get into the projects and what got you guys to win, how did you feel when you won? Who did you want to dedicate your win to first? Uh, for me, I wanted to dedicate my win to my grandmother and my parents because they, they helped me very much in what I was doing and I wouldn't have gotten gold without their help and support. All right, Peter and Patrick, who did you want to dedicate your win to? I want to dedicate it to my parents because they're the people who didn't give up on us when, when sometimes we don't used to do that much work and they keep on telling us to improve. Yeah, yeah, motivate us. It's the same thing for you? Yeah. All right, now let's, let's get into it. Um, Ishimi, I mean, your thing was basically, you're trying to explain to everybody that um, they need to be, they, they need to embrace uh, the environment a bit more and to clean it a bit more. Tell us about your project. My project was organic insecticide. And how it helped the environment was that when people use synthetic insecticides, they harm our environment. Organic insecticides don't harm our environment. Synthetic insecticides also harm us, causing respiratory disorders and development of some cancers. And organic insecticide does not affect any person or anything in any way. Now when I first spoke to you uh, the other day when we met and you told me about organic insecticide, it was my first time hearing about it. What got you into it? Who spoke to you about it? My grandmother is the one who gave me the idea and so after hearing about it I researched a little about it then found out about this place called Musanze in the northern Province. province. Yes. And then from there I went to see a scientist who was working on the organic insecticide and then he answered a lot of questions I had. He told me the components of pyrosome and 
yeah, most of my information comes from that trip, as well as the research I did. All that helped me a lot. Nice. Patrick and Peter, um, you guys end up winning bronze, the bronze medal. And uh, the reason why you guys won that is because you're all about protecting our gorillas. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you get to think about it? Have you guys been um, to any of our parks here to actually see them? And if not, what got you into it? Well, um, what got us into it is that, like, because first it was just an idea and we we didn't know much about it then we start then we started then we started to research and we 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 found out that gorillas are very special animals and we decided to take to take on that project and and um, do it now, do you know how important gorillas are to Rwanda yeah cuz gorillas are one of the stores attractions they make under generate most of the income to the economy. All right, nice. Ishimi, um, now, now that you've won, what do you want other kids, your classmates, your you know, cousins, um, or your friends, what do you want them, and other random kids who are watching you right now, what do you, how do you want them to get inspired? What do you want them to do? And you want them to defend other causes and you know, put them to the, bring them to the forefront? They should look at our country and find out what is affecting our country. From that, they should start looking at what they find and then trying to, to tell people why they shouldn't do something or why they should do something and why it is important, what it does for our country and it should help our country a lot in those ways. All right, Peter and Patrick, any, any plans to go visit gorillas now, now that you've won this, uh, this prize? And then what's next? I mean, how much, how much more can you uh, mobilize um, young people of your age and even elders? Um, right now, as we've researched, we want to see the gorillas to like, see how they've been facing these problems to like see how these creatures, like how we've been hearing about them so much. We want to see how they are doing it in real life, how they're acting. Instead of just reading it from a book, we want to see it in action. So we will visit the gorillas in the place. Now, do you have the kind, uh, Ishimi, do we have the kind of insecticides that you're preaching here that we should be using here in Rwanda? Do we already have them? Uh, the industry is working on producing such insecticides, but most people in Rwanda have, do not know about this such of insecticide. They have to be taught of it, what the importances are, and why these importances should be taken to action, and if they sh if they should use this. What, what, do they, what do they get out of it? And in fact, Rwanda is now trying to make pyrethrum one of the main, main income resources. Uh, exports are now starting and Rwanda is now producing 15% of the world's pyrethrum. Nice. Now, Peter and Patrick, um, what else do you guys want to accomplish now, you've, now that you've done this? I mean, uh, what path are you following in school? Who do you want to become? A doctor, maybe? A lawyer? Like a park conservator? What do you guys want to become? Um, but I, I don't really know yet. You don't know yet? Because what there, you... there are a lot of choices. All right. And how about you? Um, I want to be a robotics engineer. Okay, and why is that? To help the world with robots to, like, that can help my, mankind do our things that normal humans can't do now. Like 90% of the ocean has not been discovered. This can be done by robots if we make, improve them today. All right, Ishimne, and what do you want to become? What do you want to do later on? Uh, I'd like to... I'd like to become a physicist. A I physician? Enjoy, I enjoy math a lot. Oh, a physician, okay. 
and also like studying stars and I I also I also I also, I also like to be a computer programmer because I enjoy a lot of computer games but also wonder how do people do this and yes I have a lo uh, I have a very curious mind I want to find out a lot so between those two choices I don't know what to pick all right have you guys been getting been uh, getting hit on by girls now at your school you get you're getting more girls now <laughs> no no <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody's shy. All right, guys, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. We appreciate it.